we were at Laguna del Cacique Guatavita. And we're going up the mountain, going up to 10,000 feet. Guatavita, the top of a mountain. Just under, we're at 9,739 feet, almost 10,000 feet. So I may sound a little winded. Are you winded? No. <laughs> She's a native walking up the final trail after an interesting drive to see a, a sacred lagoon that has a whole interesting story behind it. All right, we've been on this hike for a while. And let me just tell you, it's worth every bit of it. We are just at about 10,000 feet. And we're at the Sacred Lagoon. And just check this out. Look at that. And yeah, according to my watch, we are at 10,058 feet. So we basically climbed about 2,000 feet. Quite a hike, but worth every bit of it. What's really amazing about the side of the mountain pass that we've hiked over is that the vegetation is very unique at this elevation. So there's plant types, trees and flowers that you won't see anywhere else in Colombia. And so it's pretty cool. It's like walking between two different ecosystems. Very cool. In this laguna, it is believed a ritual was conducted, which is widely thought to be the basis of the legend of El Dorado, or the Golden One. The story behind this lake was that the ancient Indians from Colombia hid all their gold at the bottom of this lake. And when the Spaniards came, they wanted to find the gold. And when they found out that it was all hidden at the bottom of the lake, they started to drain the lake in order to find the gold. And so the lake then, they found the gold, but then the lake started filling back up. The legend says the lake is where the Muisca celebrated a ritual in which the Muisca ruler, named El Dorado by the conquistadors, was covered in gold dust and then ventured out into the water on a ceremonial raft. He dove into the water washing off the gold and afterwards trinkets, jewelry and other precious offerings were thrown into the water by the worshippers. Spanish colonizers knew about the existence of this sacred lagoon possibly as early as 1531 and they knew about the indigenous rituals involving gold. Their search for the gold brought the Spanish into first contact with the Muisca in these mountains, including here at Lake Guatavita. Mm -hmm. 